guys back to a new series. This is going to be Let's Tinker with RPG Maker VX Ace. I'm Shadow Fang and I'm going to kind of tinker with this series and um, show you my experiences and, how, and what I feel uh, can be done with the game and stuff like that. Um, the engine, sorry, it's an engine. This is available in Steam for $60. I'm probably going to be doing a little iffy review um, pretty soon. I'm thinking maybe in two weeks because I've been playing a lot and I've got basically my ideas of what's wrong with the game and what's right with it already up and stuff like that. I am going to talk about that later. But what is RPG Maker VX Ace? Essentially, it's a glorified ROM hacker. Um, if you've ever had ROM, if you ever ROM hacked Pokemon, you would know what I mean. Um, it, it's not too different. Um, a lot of the mechanics, a lot of the extra little tools they've added aren't quite different. But a lot of it is quite the same. Now, this is a bit of a problem, but it is easily dealt with. Alright, so we're going to start a new project. We can call this project, how we call it, like YouTube. Um, we got a cool name, so URPG. Yeah. URPG2. Yeah, that's fine. URPG. I'm happy with that. So we're going to call it URPG. Now this is our starting grid, but I'm going to talk about this a bit more. And um, there was a few things I tried to do, like chance for the character position and stuff like that, but I haven't been able to do that. And I'm gonna probably look into that today and see if I can do a little bit. But essentially, I'm going to go through the um, the engine, but I am actually going to do stuff this episode. So normally I go, well, if you already know how this stuff works and don't, but since this series isn't really showing you how to build an RPG. It's actually showing, it, it's showing how to build an RPG, but, it, but it's going to be unlike um, a MOBA series, which isn't going to be a fully finished RPG, you know, with fully flexed out characters and all that stuff, that basically could be released if it had actual art. Um, it's not going to be one of those games. Uh, it will be, a, however, a game that will be released on the Steam Workshop and stuff like that, and it will be a fully fleshed game that you can play. Um, I'm, not, I'm aiming for about three hours to four hours gameplay. Uh, a very quick game, obviously, and that's very quick for RPG standards. And I've got some mechanics I want to talk to you about later. But that's going to be in separate videos. So this is this is to show you how to build RPG for, RPG from start to finish, and not just the decision processes, and not just say the game design processes, but also the decision part of building game, of mechanics and stuff. So I'm going to go through the engine a bit this episode, but um, I am going to do stuff this episode. So even if you've used this. Um, it still might be useful, but there will probably be an annotation on the screen skipping this little introduction. So, there is this is your main screen. This is your map. You can create new maps down here. I see new maps, and you can obviously edit your map properties and stuff like that. We're not going to go into this, but obviously this is how you create encounters. Um, so we'll go into this, this stuff. So this thing called databases. This is your database. This is your resource manager. This is your script editor, your sound test, and your character generator. Let's go through this. So first we have your database. Your database has a list of actors. These are generic actors that you can change yourself. So you see here, they each have a nickname, a nickname, a class. Pretty simple. All right, and so initial level, max level. Uh, he becomes uncontrollable in battle when berserk. Um, and then you have stuff like Natalie, um, Terence, Ernest, Rahom, Rioma, Brenda, Rick, Alice, Isabel, Noah, all that stuff. And you see they each have seven things. He's a soldier, Natalie's a monk, a paladin, a spell blade, samurai, archer, thief, priestess, witch, and sage. Now, everything you see here can be edited. These are for your own notes, by the way. But what you can do is you can actually edit all this. So, like, obviously you can edit this, but, I mean, you can edit more than that. Not only can you do this, you can actually add your own features. These features, these are, you can edit these, um, I believe they're called uh, elements. Okay, we'll just call them elements. You can edit these elements. You can edit the stats here. You can edit this, the, these um, different uh, effects to your character. And you can edit, obviously these are the same thing, but yeah. Yeah. Um, now... You can also edit stuff like, uh, yeah, here we go, like these, who are X parameters, 
So see these are these um, these are the things like hit, critical, um, I don't know, and stuff like this. I can't that's in all of them. And there's obviously attack elements, which is the elements. There's the states. Uh, there's the speed. That's not one time uh, Skill type. Here we go. So you can have special magic. You can change these. So in Pokemon, there's quite a few, right? And also, these are obviously all attacks here. And then these are some of the more rare attacks, and they've kind of um, out kind of put them into different sections. So essentially, um, what these characters are like is that they really have certain skills and abilities that can do them stuff. So you can add your own specials, and these are special and magic, and you can maybe add a new one called like team or whatever, right? You can add your own weapons, you can add your own armor, you can add your own um, oh, weapons, shields, head, body, and accessories. You can add all these. You can um, obviously do a wield, it seems like. Uh, you can have, uh, I guess, all this stuff too. You can have gold double or whatever. These are really cool. These are really nice abilities. The fact that you can, I believe you can change these. I really hope you can. Um, so we're going to look into these a bit more. You can also change the graphics, the classes, the weapons, all this stuff. Okay, that's what we explained. You can also change the maximum characters. And these are your actors. And your actors are essentially... Uh, well, if we're looking at a Pokemon game, your actors are essentially your Pokemon. With your 001 actor being your main character. So if you want a girl or a boy, right now it's quite easy to do, actually. So um, we could start off with a very maybe a mysterious character, and then once you say your gender, maybe he hit graphic changes, right? And, you know, it doesn't really matter because all this stuff is kind of generic, but we can talk about that a bit later. So, as you can see here, there is a bunch of stuff. Not only can you have different classes, you can also change these characters. You can have the XP curve. One thing you will notice, they actually haven't changed the XP curve, but, oh, wow, yeah, well, this is really complex, isn't it? Yeah. This is a nice XP thing. I, I'm really liking this XP, right? So you, as you see, as I change this value, I can make it accelerate, I can make it extra, and this is essentially what I want. So you can kind of create this curve, exactly what I want, right, in, in my mobile game. So as it goes up, it's always kind of going up and stuff like that, and kind of extra values, all that junk, right? And um, they're really cool. Not only that, you can also add parameter curves. So your parameters curve over a certain amount of time. As you can see, so this character is obviously more HP focused than MP, as you can tell. This character is obviously more attack focused than whatever AGI is, and math, and MDF, and all this stuff. Um, and then he's also got features. This character has a feature. He's got a parameter. He also has armor, which is just to state that um, this character has certain features. So when you get this character, he will have uh, certain features. He will have axes, he will have a certain amount of armor, as you can see. Um, this armor is most likely just what he can have on him, because certain characters can have different armor. Now, this is quite different from Pokemon in the idea that Pokemon, you didn't really upgrade your characters with stats and stuff. If you don't want to do that, don't do it. You don't need equipment, but obviously you could. Now, there are quite a few things. Um, as you see, there's attacks. These are skills, they call them, but they're basically attacks. And the icons and stuff, and all this stuff. Like, that's pretty simple, right? And they each have effects, and messages, and... Uh, yeah. You know, uses mana, barrier, all that stuff. Um, and then you can have weapon, required weapons. You can say, to use this effect, you actually require a weapon. Pretty cool. You can have damage. You can say what these damage do. You can have items. I mean, as you can see, um, you know, and and this is really cool. Is that the fact that you can say, "Hey, I want you to recover," or "I want you to remove states, add stats, add buffs, special effect." I want you to grow your MP. I want you to learn skill. I want you to uh, the fact that you can learn skill. I want you to do a common event. They're really cool. Lock ups, all this stuff. That's kind of cool, right? And you'll see the certain um, animations, which one, that we, and you can make these own animations. Now, there's obviously weapons too, and these used to do other things. And these weapons, right now, don't really require much, as you can see. They don't really require you to have anything. They require X parameter. 
I don't know about like the features and stuff. That is one thing that is still slightly different to me. Is that the feature thing is a bit confusing. I'm still learning. Alright, so as you see there's a bunch of stuff here and um Yeah, that's kinda cool. Now there's enemies. You can add your enemies and you can move your enemies and all this see all that stuff. And you got demon gods, demon kings and stuff, and you got action patterns and always you can say turn number this, so you can say always yeah, so you can actually set the attack patterns that they do, action patterns. So you can say, hey, well, do this. Um, if this switch is on, and then maybe you could go, hey, once this is done, turn turn on. Uh, I don't know. You can go, once you attack, do this. You can kind of have these certain um, group things. Now there's troops. These are set um, sets of group groups, let's call them, right? So... As you can see, there's a bunch of stuff, and these characters are all by the quotation itself. But there can be groups, so you can spawn two um, cockatrice, or two, three zombies, or two puppets, or three gazers, or whatever. And you can change all this stuff with all these battle backs and all this stuff, and you can say, hey, these characters can't run. When the end turn, you can say, turn number zero, you can say, all this stuff, run. You have battles, and uh, you can have a ben battle ben bunch of battle events. And you can actually do something when the battle starts. You can say text or whatever. You can have different states of two different things. I mean, this is kind of cool, right? Um, I saw some cool one. Uh, I was wondering where it was. Uh, oh, science. You know, that's kind of cool. You know, that's really cool. The fact that you can. Uh, when an enemy is silenced, it becomes confused. You know, and uh, restriction attack anyone. Uh, yeah, so this is the features that it gives you, and it seals a skill type, so you can't use magic. Or you can't use special, or you can't use physical. So you can see what I'm saying. Then here are animations, and there are many different stages. So you can kind of see how the stages go through for like hit physicals and stuff like that and it's kind of really cool. Then there's sets of tile sets. You can add your own by the way. Um, and that's really cool. And then there's also obviously variety. There's not just one. And then there's common events. These are kind of really, really cool. They can do these common events that maybe say, oh yeah, this stuff, this stuff, you know. Um, it's kind of really cool, and the fact that you can, uh, you know, ask for certain things, and I think it's really cool. Uh, there are certain things. Like, see, this is where you can change your name and stuff. Especially when I want to change my, let's say I want to change my nickname. The fact is, I want to change my nickname to something that I want. I want the user to be able to change the nickname. But the user can't. There's certain things like that. I'm going to show that later. Um... You got your system. Now this is essentially your main system. Your recoveries, your misses, your evasions. These are all your sound effects. These are your starting positions. These are your title screens. Um, you know, it's quite yeah, quite cool looking stuff. And you can change your different ones. And regardless, right? Not only that, you can also do other stuff like uh, I don't know what well, half of the stuff means, but. Uh, <laughs> Uh, can't see it. That's gold, obviously. We can change it to wherever you want. You can have window color change. You can just, it's kind of cool stuff. Now, this is what I was talking about. You can have elements. And these are your main elements. These are like your types, like fire, water, grass, if we're using Pokemon. Not only this, you can also have weapon types. You can also have armor. You can also have level, HP, which is your hit points. Um, what I don't like is that it doesn't tell you. What, what does TP mean? What does... Um, ma obviously, max HP attack. Uh, Matt, what does Matt AGI mean? You know, utility, you know, all this stuff. You know, it feels like you, you want to know this stuff. Um, and then you got commands and stuff. These are all... Uh, very cool and stuff, but one really big thing. I'm gonna just have a quick look while we have time. 
would be so here are all the levels and stuff. Um, what am I actually looking at? I'm looking at like uh, items. So recover all MP, recovers an ally from death, treats poison, um, attack by three, defense by three, magic. Oh, so MAT's magic. That's kind of weird. What? Oh, this is your resistance. Okay. Okay, resist up, speed up, agility, and that's luck. We're going to change a few of these, because these things mean, no, they're just confusing. So this is actually going to be magic, or mag. Uh, how about we go, uh, what, what's another word for magic? Like ability, maybe AP. <laughs> ability, nah, nah. Uh, maybe we go um, mag. Magic. Maybe let's get magic. Oh, MDF. Ah, uh, that's magic defense. Okay, so that's going to be. Uh, I think MDF is fine. I don't. I think it's, I, should, I think it should be MDEF, but that's fine. Oh, I actually made a mistake there. We're not going to touch this stuff because I said I wasn't going to touch anything. So MAT and that. I think we can just luck to luck, whatever. Regardless. Now we're going to close this, and then we're going to look at the other stuff. So we got resource manager. These allow us to import and export certain, uh, not import, but we can actually add DLC. This is kind of cool. Right? The fact that you can add these special DLC. Um, you can add and import, and you can obviously export, and you can't see, you can't see, see oh, you can't preview, okay. Now, that's kind of cool. Really darn cool. Not only that, but you can also add your own scripts. Yeah. You can actually change these scripts too. See? Cool. I'll close it just so I don't actually accidentally apply. And you can actually change the scripts however you like. I mean, some are quite long and stuff like that. And these are kind of cool and they really do a lot of stuff. But uh, that's number input, that's name input, that's name edit. So what this does is name input. What we do is we are actually allowed to Japanese table. That's really cool. I am actually going to, um, uh, yeah. See if I can add that. And then what we're gonna do, um, if the game doesn't in Japanese, then we'll turn Latin, which is our language. As you can see, but what we we may want to change that. We may want to have our own little thing, like our own little uh, command that we can change. Uh, not only that, is when we decide name. Then what we do is we go sound play K, uh, and then we edit the character name. I don't know, do you want to have something else maybe? I don't know. Guys, that's the main windows. Uh, there's sound editor. Oh, I can't stop. There we go. <laughs> and then there is um, character generator. We can generate a name and output the face. And I don't know, these names, these faces and stuff just look really weird to me. <laughs> I understand that you can make your own, but like, I don't know, maybe we could spend hours doing this. I don't know, like, Macaron Crazy, maybe. <laughs> this is so weird. I think you like do some weird friggin' stuff. Add wings, I don't know. Add a tattoo, add a t I don't know, just add a bunch of junk. <laughs> Actually, he's like, well, really kind of weird. But like, I think that's kind of cool that you can do all this stuff. Now, well, it's actually just been 19 minutes. I've gone through the program, so I'm actually going to do what I was originally going to say. So, uh, skip to the next video if. You don't want to see, even though I didn't say it, I'll have a weird annotation to it. Um, so I guess that's that. Uh, you can always skip to the next episode if you're fine with RPG making. You understand how it works and stuff. Um, obviously, it's very easy to change the tile sets. You can just click and you can drag massive sets of them. One thing you will notice is this, and that's because... Um, you obviously these things are the outside blocks. These are outside, not inside. 
Um, so I mean, if we could clear this away, which I guess we can, but then we can make DB, which is like much more rocky and so like that. And I don't know. Same, very simple. Make a little mountain. It's a little bit of ice on it. Oh, I don't know that doesn't really match up, but maybe we could do something like this. I know that looks really bad, but maybe. I don't know. But yeah, you know, we can add all our, our own mountains and stuff, and it looks really weird now. <laughs> but yeah, we have a whole mountain world. Guys, so come back next time if you're. Um, come back to the next episode, and I will talk, be talking a bit more about things. And yeah, so see you guys next time if you're interested. That's kind of cool. You can do like, these very things. That's really cool. Okay, see you guys next time.